put into service eight years ago. AI's deteriorating after seven. What's up everybody? This is Halo Rich Pro 97 here and I am back with your daily Halo 4 news and this one actually was uh, by surprise. I mean I didn't even know this was actually gonna come up because it's been a while since uh, 343 Industries has released any information on Halo uh, 4. So I, I received this via um, Microsoft Expert Zone. If you don't know what it is, I don't know what it is either. It's like um, and it's like a sour gives you like information on and stuff like that and this was released via uh, microsoft uh, export zone and basically what they did here was um they released like uh nine slides i think i'm just making an estimate and um those nine slides have information on halo 4 what it has in it and you know uh, information on sparring ops you know some of you are wondering how many weeks will we have uh uh, for sporting ops in season one. Well, I'll be answering that uh, very shortly Now to get you started off on the first slide It says um the UNSC infinity training program and the master chief is back uh, Obviously, so it basically talks about how Halo 4 is the next blockbuster installment in the iconic franchise that shaped the entertainment uh, history and defined a decade of gaming so what basically now it's going to talk about is what uh what role Halo 4 plays in within the universe. So it says that um Halo 4 marks uh the beginning of an epic storyline and an entirely new saga which is called the Reclaimer Saga. Now that is actually pretty interesting. I'm actually interested in knowing what uh that's going to be like. Uh it's it's pretty much I think it's going to be really epic because it sounds like it's something really difficult to um you know to complete and master chief has to do it so this might be just epic so it says um halo 4 will deliver groundbreaking new co-op and competitive multiplayer experience unlike any other game out there wow that is just amazing that th that is the best news i've heard so far like unlike any other game that means this is actually is going to be pretty good. I mean, I think Halo 4 is going to shoot to the top when it comes out. I'm actually serious. Because the information they're giving here is really epic. Not like any other game before. That means not like in any of go, uh, games like Call of Duty or, you know, those games. But this one is going to be really epic. And Halo 4 will be a huge blockbuster game. And um, this this holiday that every gamer should play. Yeah. Now to move on to the next slide, uh, as you can notice, it's saying um, Hill 4 franchise at the top. I think it always says that there. And um, this this slide here is actually pretty is interesting. It says Halo is a blockbuster. Now before we dive into how awesome Halo 4 is going to be, let's take a step back and look at how far the franchise has come. Now this talks about, you know, when it has come from and um, what Halo means uh, to the fans and including me it means a lot because um, I'm a you know hardcore uh, gamer pro here and I like to play Halo all the time it's actually a pretty cool game it's got a nice uh, storyline and the, uh, the campaign and um, the multiplayer are actually pretty cool but I think Halo 4 is gonna you know just outrun that it's gonna bring so much more I'm gonna be like Oh my god, this is the best game ever. So the next uh, bullet point I have is Halo is an award-winning science fiction universe which has transcended video games and grown into a global phenomenon. Now what that means is just like it's really popular. Everyone knows, most people know what Halo is. It started, it's known as the turning point for uh, first-person shooters. I think it is the turning point because it came uh, way before you know games like uh, uh, Call of Duty or Gears of War. No, actually, Gears of War is not a first-person shooter, but you know other first-person shooter games that we all know. And um, what it also says here is, beginning with an original Halo Combat Evolved 2001, 
the critical acclaimed and reward shatter, uh, shattering series of games have reinvented how f uh, fans play and think about video games. Now, uh, that's, that's actually pretty more interesting. Andy says uh, over 40 million copies of Halo games have been sold worldwide. So the next slide I have here is actually uh, pretty interesting. It's on Halo 4 details and um, it talks about the basic stuff that are um, pretty obvious in the game that's gonna happen. And the subheading is uh, the story. And basically what this talks about is what has been going on in uh, the Halo universe so far. And as we all know, the Master Chief has been all over the galaxy uh, fighting the Covenants and the, f uh, the Flood, but he, uh, he has never come up against anything like he will face in Halo 4. And that is, I'm actually pretty sure of because um, as we all know, we saw the uh, E3 uh, trailer, which was a, a quick campaign gameplay. And uh, basically, I've never seen anything like that before. It's actually pretty cool and it's much more deadlier than the Flood. But we also heard this thing saying an ancient uh, evil awakens. And this thing says, um, I've long dreamt of this day, Reclaimer. That is something that got me really hyped. I want to see what what this is. It's like, um, I think it's going to be something like uh, the Grey Mind or something. It's going to be much more deadlier. And then you have to fight it. It's like a final thingy. And then it's going to be so awesome or something like that. Or maybe Cortana and the thing will join forces or something like that. If she goes, uh, you know, like so evil. And um, the next bullet point says, um, for the first time ever, the the Master Chief uh, will have a true nemesis. I'm actually trying to find out what that actually means because I don't know what they mean by a uh, true nemesis here. I'm guessing it's like a true, um, you know, challenge, like a real uh, challenge that is going to happen to him and it's going to be like an emotional journey, you know, something like that. And players will get to explore the mysterious world, which is Requiem. It's a mysterious foreigner world and um, it's actually uh, a really cool place there. <laughs> but it's filled, filled with Prometheums. But I we guess we're going to get to explore, you know, some foreigner tech stuff and um, architecture, which would be actually pretty cool. So the next slide talks basically about the new trilogy, which is, um, you know, the new uh, saga, which we're about to experience, which is the Reclaimer saga. So Halo 4 is the beginning of a new saga. We all know that. And at the end of Halo 3, the Master Chief goes into a cry of sleep after drifting for four years. He is awakened unexpectedly. Uh, and the Master Chief embarks on an emotional journey where he will face the greatest threat humanity has ever known. So that actually is uh, pretty cool. It's going to have some uh, hardcore stuff in there because it, I quote this, Halo 4 is going to be uh, to be darker, greater game, forcing the Master Chief to make some very difficult decisions. Now what that means is, as we all know, uh, Cortana is... Uh, is slowly you know falling apart i know that that's really heartbreaking man i if only they could find uh, a, a solution to fix her up you know that would be really great because cortana is one of the uh, main characters in the game and without cortana in the game it's like it's like not not a good game at all man <laughs> but um they should really try and find um uh you know try and find a way to bring back cortana because um not many people want Cortana to be uh, removed from the game here. I don't. I think they might find uh, a solution to her problem in Halo Five or Six or Seven, and this would be actually pretty interesting if, if they actually do find a solution to this. I'll be, you know, I'll be waiting for that day. It it would be actually pretty interesting. So moving on to the next slide on Spar Knobs. This is a really interesting slide I, I like here. Um, I'm really a fan of Spar Knobs. I'm a hardcore fan of Spar Knobs. I really like the idea of competitive, not, uh, not competitive, but cooperative gameplay. That's a really good idea and, you know, getting new missions every single week. So Spar Knobs is a great way to extend your single multiplayer and, um, you know, experience. And uh, each week, the Spartan Ops team uh, will deliver five new missions for you to 
to complete so five different missions they're not going to be all the same so each week you're going to feel like you're doing something different uh this this i quote from uh kiki wolf kill she said that um you're going to feel like you're doing something different each week so you're not going to have like um you know shooting covenants every single day of the sparring ops you know that's going to be so irritating you know you're going to have like infiltrate uh building zero zero whatever and then you know you have to take down a hostile something and stop uh a uh, high-ranking Promethean from escaping. That'll be a really awesome uh, Spartan mission. And um, it also said that uh, uh, there are t each uh, there are ten uh, weeks of Spartan Ops missions in season one. Uh, these missions are introduced into a high-quality cinematic video that are well briefed before you embark on a mission. And unlike any other games, uh, season one of Spartan Ops is 100% free. And this says here, how many games give you free DLC for 10 weeks? That That's really awesome. They've done it. Uh, I think that they're doing this for the fans. I really like how they're going on with this. And uh, Sauron Ops uh, increases game value and overall enjoyment of Halo 4 with up to 12 hours of uh, incremental gameplay in either single-player or co cooperative um, multiplayer mode. Which I think is a pretty good idea that uh, 343 has uh, done this. I'm finally going to come to a conclusion here. And it says, help make Halo 4 the blockbuster game this holiday. Of course I'm going to do that. I'm a hardcore Halo fan here. I really like uh, how they're going with this. This is going to be the first Halo game I'm actually uh, really, really looking forward to this. I'm going to play this like 24 hours a day, you know for the rest of my life this game is just really epic i really like how the uh the reclaimer saga is going on with this and halo 4 marks the beginning of epic story storyline and a new uh entirely saga halo 4 will deliver groundbreaking new co-op and multiplayer experience and halo 4 will be a, a huge blockbuster game this holiday that every gamer should play see what that means every gamer should play this game i'm actually serious this is actually a pretty good game if you're not a halo fan come on just just try this game. It's actually, I'm really recommending this game. I really don't recommend Halo games to anyone, but uh, this game I'm actually recommending because, you know, it's just for once you're gonna, you can you can try this game. It's actually pretty cool. It's, I think it's the most amazing Halo game ever. I really like this. This is gonna be the, the most epic game of my entire life. I really, I really like this game right here. It's awesome. Three for three, you've done a brilliant job on this. I congratulate you. Uh, on this brilliant job you've done here. It's really amazing what